this is Tracy from Mindless Crafting and today I'm going to show you how to make this journal cover, how to cover it using our new digital mixed media uh, journal covers. And so this was a cereal box and look how gorgeous that is. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to take this cereal box and cover it step by step. So this one is going to be a little bit smaller as you can see. Um, I used part of it. You can use the whole thing to make the cover if you want, but I cut the box down to fit the cover. So this size, I want to do a smaller one that looks like this. You're going to take off these flaps on the box. Okay, you're going to take those off and I keep them. And you're going to take this side portion off only on one side. And so it'll look like a booklet. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that down and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what you have once you remove those flaps. And you could already see the spine is there, right? And I don't mind this sticking up. And then you have the two, the, the front cover and the back cover. So what I need to do is because I want this folded like this, it's going to make kind of a slimmer looking um, journal cover. But if you wanted to leave it like that, you can. Okay, you can. Or you can resize this and make it as large or as small as you want. That'll fit in an eight and a half by 11 paper. Okay, so because it's digital, you can resize it. However you like. So I'm just going to fold this over for a moment because I want to see what that would look like. Just to make sure. I want to get it right on that spine area. And this is a gorgeous mixed media design. And we have so many others on our website. And I will leave the link. So you see how that is? Because I want to do something smaller and more contained, um, kind of a, a small journal. This is what it's going to look like, right? So you see how that looks? So this one I'm actually going to cut off also. I'm going to cut this just a little bit. So that actually fits perfect right over that. So we just fold it in a little bit more, just a tiny bit more. I'm going to come over on that spine. This makes the perfect spine decoration. And so I'll be taking you through the steps of uh, doing more videos of how to decorate your journal. So we'll be doing this. You'll be seeing this a lot. <laughs> So that's, that's what I would like it to look like. Okay, so just wanted to see what it would do folded. Now that I'm comfortable with that, I'm going to take this and I'm going to trace it out here. All right, so I'll know where to cut. Okay. Actually, no, nope, let's do on this side right here. It's going to have to come on this side. Okay. Right here. Good thing I caught that, huh? Okay, so I'm just going to go around here. Just do a little line up right here. And that's where I'm going to cut. Right there. And it's a little light line. That's good. And then this one right here, I'm going to cut this off because I'm not going to need this part. So I'm going to cut that off so that it can be even right along, right about there. And that will be for this side here. So let me just line this up so I can make sure that I have it the way I want. So right about, I'm just going to mark it. And this is um, runoff on my my printer. I have an Eco Tank uh, 2760, 3760, one of those. I'll link it below 
in the description. And that's what I print on and it prints out perfect. So I'm going to cut just right around there. And I think I'm good to cut it without having to, I can cut a pretty straight line. Of course, I hear one of my doggies wanting to come in again. Okay, and that's going to be the back cover. So you want to make sure you have two even sides. Okay, and I may end up making this just a little bit. Let's see, just making sure. Okay. Just a little bit there. Okay, so let's go ahead and this side, I'm now gonna measure it out. I want this to overlap just a tiny bit to go underneath this. Just underneath it. Maybe about right there. And I'm going to go ahead and trace it. Oh, now I hear my doggy. <laughs> All I need to do is make a mark there. Make sure it's straight. Make another mark right here. Another mark right there. Okay, and don't forget, if I thought ahead of time, I would have actually flipped this um, in my editor. I use pages, and you can actually flip uh, this in reverse so it's on the other side, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this down. Just going to cut right on this line here. And I'm not going for like perfection. I kind of want this to have kind of a worn look, kind of a vintage like look. And I want it to look pretty artsy as well. I'm just cutting along that line there. Okay, and you might not be able to see the line, but I can. If I would have traced it on the other side, I would have been able to really see that line, but I didn't want to confuse myself, so <laughs> it's okay. Yep, there it is. And I keep all of my leftover pieces from this because I can make bookmarks and all kinds of stuff. Okay, so now we've got this. Let me just look and see to make sure it looks like it's evened out. looks pretty even not too bad so this is what's going to go on here right this is going to go on here like this but i am thinking because i want this spine i don't want this spine showing through i'm actually going to glue this so that we have an overlapping piece i'm going to glue this down as well right here and then i'm going to take this and glue it like right on top of here since i didn't flip it around but it's okay Something like that it's going to look like. But I'll, I'll get it nice and neat on there. Okay. So I'm going to take this. The first thing I'm going to do is glue this piece down over that spine, right? And I'm using a glue stick. If you want to use your art glitter glue, you can. But the glue stick actually works pretty good for me. So I'm just going to glue this piece down first. And I'm going to cover everything on there. just to have that overlapping piece. Okay. So just like that. Because I do want that to still, I'm just bending it a little bit so it has that give on it. I don't want anything showing through there, so that's why I'm putting that piece on there. And then this is just gonna go on top like this. And there's 23 papers in this journal um, 
this journal cover kit. 23 different designs. I mean, just beautifully done. And I know you're going to love it. Okay, so this one is going to go right over here. And if it comes up short, we have a little bit of that box sticking out. Just cut it off. Don't stress over it. Just cut it off. Okay, this is going to overlap, so I'm going to just go right up to that edge there. And this glue works really well, this glue stick. I'm cleaning out my craft room, so of course I'm finding a lot of stuff that I haven't used in a long time. And I have a bunch of glue sticks. I'm not sure why, but <laughs> I have a lot of glue sticks. I'm going to move that down just a little bit. Just a little bit, let's see where we are on here. Okay. Remember, don't go for perfection. It's okay, it's a little bit off. If something's sticking out a little bit, you wanna make this fun. And if you're giving this as a gift, nobody's gonna notice. See how that white is sticking out? Just cut it off. Cut it right off. See how this looks like? It's a little bit off on the measurement. Cut it off. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the other side now. Let's go ahead and see how that looks. Looks pretty good to me. Now we're going to take this one and we're going to cover that side there. Covers are one of my favorite things to do in a journal. The inside is fun, but the cover, before you even open it up, looking at the cover is just awesome. So we're not going to go over here because that's our spine. And do y'all hear my dog? He's trying to get in here. He's trying to get in the room. They don't bother me before while I'm when I'm not recording. But as soon as I come in this room to record, oh, they're like right there, okay? <laughs> Look how pretty that looks already. Look how pretty. Back cover and the front cover. Look at that. So you see that little piece hanging out right there? Cut it off. No stressing over it. Cut it off. So look at that. Already got your cover. Look how pretty. Look at the dimension on that. Look at the dimension on that. So now here's another thing you can do. I printed out a couple of extras. And if you wanted to add, maybe you want to add something more to it, like a flower, you want to make it even add even more dimension. You can cut out pieces of this and add it on here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out and show you how to add it on this. Okay, so now I cut this out and I can layer it on top of here to add more dimension or I can come down here, right? Or I can cut it in half and add a flower somewhere around here. Let me show you what I did with this one. Here's another one that comes with those um, journal covers, the mixed media journal covers. Look how gorgeous that is. I took one of the flowers, right, that look like this. It is a flat flower, but it already looks like it has dimension. So I took another one and I cut it and cut it in half and then I placed it down here. So that's just another idea that you can do with that. Then I cut another, the other part of the flower, right? I cut it into quarters and made it on this bookmark with the leftover paper, right? So that's another thing that you can do. And I used it on the cereal box, right? I covered both sides on this one. So all of that pretty paper, as beautiful as the paper looks, you can still use it for something. You can still take this, cut this, 
and now you have the start of a bookmark or a tag. Maybe you want to place this inside of your book. All right, this part right here, same thing. You might want to make something out of this to add to your journal. So keep all of those little pieces. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this down. I'm going to take, let's see, I'm going to use some of my mounting tape to give it a little bit more dimension, right? So that's so sturdy, especially when you put it on, give it a backing. So use part of that cereal box to add dimension. And then I'm going to put this on and give it even more dimension. This is so fun because you get to kind of create as you go. You don't have to have everything planned out. So hopefully just you looking at what I'm doing here gives you a little bit of inspiration. Whether you use this paper or not, you can use whatever paper you want, but hopefully this gives you a little bit of inspiration. So that's what it's all about, right? Sharing ideas. Okay, so I'm just going to place it right on top. So let me make sure I know exactly how it goes like this. Just like that and place it right on top of there. Even You could even move it just slightly down to give it like another layer. And that's what it looks like right now. Look at that. How beautiful. Now you can add a pearl in here. I'm going to round the edges of this. Let me get my rounder. Round the edges. And I see a little bit of that box sticking out, so let me just cut it down, right? So this is just the first step. So I figure you take this in bite-sized pieces. The next thing that we'll do is decorate that inside part. Right, that'll be in another video. So you see how that is? I like the rounded corners on these. Just, I don't know what it is, but I love when the corners are rounded. I think I did it on this one too. Yep. I rounded the corners. Let's see, that one's not as rounded as I want it to be. So let's go ahead. So now y'all are going to start saving all that packaging. The oatmeal boxes, the cookie boxes. The cereal boxes, stuff that you already have and you want to transform it into something beautiful. So that's how simple it is to cover these. You can print these out in whatever size. Um, they're called mixed media uh, mosaic journal covers and they're in our mindless crafting store. So you can do so many of them. Let's see, I had printed out some other stuff just to show you the variety, we're going to have so much fun decorating these. I could already tell. <laughs> Here's some more of the variety that we have of these. Look how gorgeous. Let me let you see it so you can see it with the lighting. If the lighting is okay on that. Look how pretty. Now I cut this down because I used a piece to make this bookmark. So I was I cut part of it off and used it to make this little book. What's going to be a bookmark? I'm going to put a hole in here and I can add it to the other journal. But isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so these are all the different different pieces that we have. And notice the sizes. You size it however you want. If you want to make it really small, just go ahead and make it real small. Look at this. Look how small that is, right? You can make it as small or large as you want. It's up to you. The possibilities are endless. Here's another one, a little bit smaller, right? Look at the hearts. How gorgeous is that? You can even make greeting cards. You can make it a greeting card size. Yeah, you can make them so tiny that you can make little um, 
paper clip embellishments. So I think that might be a nice, if you'd like to see me do something like that, uh, let me know where we where I make some paper clip embellishments um, to go on your journals. How pretty is that? Oh my goodness. And these are few. There's 23 um, different designs, so you get a lot to choose from. So I hope this helped you. I hope this inspires you. Even if you've never done a journal before, give it a try. Give it a try. You already have the covers already designed for you. And um, I'll see you in the next one where we can go ahead and start to decorate the inside. All right, y'all. Y'all take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.